Welcome back, 25 Years of Doom. I'm Temin. And I'm Mag. And we're entering the unknown. Uh, whoa, the floor is the sky. That's yeah, super. Think about that one. Unknown ish. Yeah, it's, it's got that eyeball texture we were talking about previously. Oh, yeah. they find, they've got the sky boxes right, probably. I don't know. They sort themselves out eventually, I think. Hey. Maybe. I don't know. Weird skybox bugs aside, uh, this fun fact is actually a donation from the cancelled Serenity 4 by uh, oh. Bjorn Hermans and Holger Nathrath from Serenity Through Eternity, those three Doom episode replacements. Um, Interesting. I wonder if that's why yeah. it's called Unknown, because it's kind of like a... Ooh, it's a level from another wad. Uh, you've traveled to, you've you've crossed the wad boundaries into another wad, just right. for this I map. I love this uh, this little bloodstream in the middle. Yeah, right. And it's also this got it's is... a bit garish, but the pr the the blue doom blues are still there. Mm hmm It's it's a very psych. Well, I don't want to say psychedelic per se. Mm, avant garde. And warped door. A bit avant garde. I did. Yeah, it, sure. It's fun. Um, oh, whoa. I can't help but wonder what a Serenity 4 would have been. Would it have been a Doom 2 megawatt? A Doom 2 episode? Would it have been abstract <laughs> maps like this all a the lot time? Of this? Yeah. I mean, the uh, original Serenity wads were all kind of abstract, but they weren't like avant garde, too. They were just kind of just. Doom tech bases with weird midis. Yeah, I mean, like this is like uh, <laughs> the foundation of reality is crumbling apart, and things are all weird. We're we're in the in between space, right? We're seeing the uh, the the raw materials that make up our reality, or um, something esoteric right. like that. The, the fabric. And of dimension. <laughs> yeah, and also somebody lost all their toy guns here. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it happens. I keep, I keep you know. forgetting that that's what our BFG and our plasma gun right. are. Our new freaking gun in the psychic yeah. blaster. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, we, it comes up every time, but, like, this this recording of Strain is, like, a month removed from our last recording from Strain, which I'm uploading today. Time is weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we've fallen into this strange half space, I guess. I guess so. Reality's finally breaking apart from all the time shenanigans. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. My bad. Hey, I, I got a red key, at least, and I can open the warped door. Ah, uh, and now we're in real space again. This is fine. Yeah, phew. We found it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just gotta open the door back into reality, duh. Of course. Uh, there was that door in the sky, maybe, that just closed Doom.exe. <laughs> so, you know, kind of. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that, too. Alright, well. What could this obelisk-esque oh. switch pillar do? Oh, hey, surprise. Oh, invisible, have, have right. We, have, have we heard the holobots do a melee attack before because they, I think oh, that yeah. was a unique sound for it. I I don't know. Maybe in the death yeah. reel, but it would have swiped by so fast that it right. would be hard to catch. Yeah. I'm going to chalk that up to we heard a fun new sound. I got the sod off. I guess that's what they call the shotgun now. I didn't realize that until I read that message just now. It's hard to notice these things sometimes. Yeah. Because I mean, you get used to Doom and you almost never look in the top left corner for the messages. Right. You pick up the thing and you know what it is. But I appreciate yeah. the flavor text when it changes. It's fun. Yeah. So. In yeah. Vuln. Uh-oh. Uh-hmm. Mm. Could be good. This could be bad. This could be middling. Uh, so far, whatever. Yeah, so far it's middling. I mean, hey, this is nice. Yeah, just carefree rocket shotgunning time. Yeah, pull out the ultra shotgun. Yeah. All right, what reality have I rent asunder by pressing that switch? Oh yeah, we shoot. Yeah, forgot that too. Yeah. The new freaking gun. Mm hmm. Just, there we go. Just enough. 
I, I like that this very dark room guides you around with the bright, like, trim. Yeah, I love that aesthetic in, like, just in general. I love when you're in a dark room, kind of like uh, movie theaters with the walkway lights and stuff on the stairs. I just love... Right, right. It's pretty. Bright, yeah, bright it's thin good. lights in a dark space is a good look in almost any setting. For sure. Uh, excuse me. Well, now that I've caused a fire on the stairwell, uh, hmm, is it making mean, exit strategy a bit difficult here? Bloody rock stone thing isn't flammable, right? Should be fine. All right. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, oh, nice. I made it. Uh, yeah, th those I, guys I learned... just persist, right? They do. Yeah. Uh, let me let me get the proper credit here. Um, thanks to Darox in the thread that the uh, corpse of the Polydrome, which is the Skull Cube enemy, uh, actually has a pinky bite attack in one of its uh, death frames there, which is how it hurts you while it's dead. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and uh, they also posit the question, uh, would the Polydrone in fight with other monsters as it's dead if it was in fighting in life that's a good question so yeah, yeah i guess that that brings up the question too of like if it's in fighting with a monster and dies does the monster then continue to try and fight the corpse because it's still attacking or is it oh, just right because of that quirk or it has an attack frame from the pinky does it just become like a damage basically a damage sprite that if you collide with it it will do damage with whatever's near enough for a melee attack i, I hadn't thought of it from that other angle that yeah. feels like a whole can of worms you end <laughs> up with a cyber deeming like shoot shooting at a, a corpse oh man and like yeah, what right? does that look like yeah I, I guess it depends on how the, the game handles the ai for that specific uh um Dehacked change. Yeah, weird. Gosh, mm. this is a very spidery auto map. Yeah, it is. Wow. I like it more than arachnophobia <laughs> from Hell Revealed. I think it's it's sleek. Also, like the, got, the for some reason it feels like the auto map like jives with the the aesthetic of the level too, which helps. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, hey, that looks uh, like an exit. Oh. Is it? Hey, hey it, it is. Go around. All right. Yeah. Got it. Self-destruct. Self-destruct. This map is bound to have explosions for sure, right? Look, look at these probably reactor core things. Probably reactor rods or something. I've got a good feeling that a John Romero is going to get squished in this map. <laughs> but, you know, if... Uh, it's going to be disappointing if I'm wrong, so, you know, temper your Fingers expectations crossed. accordingly. Fingers crossed. Yeah, very reactory. Oh, boy. Yeah, they've got the hazard stripes. It checks out. <laughs> hazard stripes? Probably a reactor. Probably a construction yeah, I always, site. Actually, yeah, sorry, that's I always, scaffolding. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. And eye beams red oh, eye yeah, beams right? Um... I always associate the danger, like the black and yellow hazard stripes with Duke Nukem. Um, it is like a texture in Duke Nukem, but like, I don't know. Man, I'm trying to remember like where... feels like a Duke Nukem specifically thing. Yeah, I'm to trying me. to remember where you even see hazard stripes. Because like, I feel like you see them a lot, but now I'm, I'm blanking on like... What levels and where. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly either. All I, I do have like a specific memory of pasting that texture onto everything in build <laughs> while I was learning to use build. Oh, I, we've I got a like circular stair room. Yeah, I feel like there's some kind of lift in Duke Nukem that uses the hazard stripes, and that's the only thing I can oh, think yeah, of probably. right now. Yeah. But yeah, I just had a bunch of like slopes, unconnected slopes, rolling hills. Of black and yellow hazard stripe texture. 
the, the Windows XP background, but it's all hazard stripes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Duke Nukem Bliss. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. We're in a very big room raising, now. Yeah, I think raising the stair, like, either cut off access to something, or they found a clever way to get around cutting off access to previous, pre uh, previous areas. Uh, details are hazy, but I remember there was something about that stairwell. Uh-oh. Is that why he's in here? <laughs> There's so many imps. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's guess... done now, and I've found hit <laughs> scanners, so... See, that guy can't hit yeah, me. We're good. Yeah, chain gunners. All right, it's paid off. Yeah, good, good job, Invisibility Sphere. <laughs> You've done your duty. But now there's a Kako demon. Oh boy. This well, power up lasts so long. Yeah, what is it, like 120 seconds or something? I think so. I think something it's, ludicrously it's long. The I I think it's the invisibility sphere and the light amp goggles that last the same amount of time. The longest, yeah. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah, and then well, next after that is um Invuln and there's, oh, why am I blanking on that? I think uh, radiation, radiation suit, suit and then invuln. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds right. Which, uh, it's kind of funny that the light amp and the uh, invisible sphere are uh, the same duration because... Oh, yeah. They're uh, both light-based, like, technically. Yeah, and also the light amps would make it easier to see the invisibility sphere in, like, oh, deathmatch yeah. or something. Oh, man. Also, Demon Lord in the reactor core, how could you? Oh, uh -oh. that's how they were powering it. Uh, yeah, it seems so. Uh, that, I thought that's where the big earth-shattering kaboom was supposed to be, but I guess not. There's more Dang. level. Boy, I'm so, really saving that supercharge. So to go in a completely different direction... Um, yeah, go ahead. Since the... Since the... the They had a demon powering part of the reactor core, it, it makes me think of... Uh, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2? where the Soviets had Tesla troopers and their classic defensive structure were giant Tesla coil towers that would just charge up and pretty much nuke anything with a giant arc of lightning. But oh. in two, you could use the Tesla troopers to power the Tesla coils to make them uh, fire further. And they would just repeatedly huh. shoot lightning at the Tesla coils. And that makes me think what the, that's what the demon was doing in the reactor. Just <laughs> throwing fireballs into... Just <laughs> spamming green mancubus <laughs> fireballs yeah. into the core. Yeah, I see. I, see. I like it. I mean, it makes sense. He can generate so many of them so quickly. Right. <laughs> um, which, another part of the Demon Lords being awful, by the way, is that their attack comes out before the attack animation plays properly, so you can't gauge when it's going to come out properly. Yeah. It's very sudden and shocking. Just a, the wave of fireballs in your face, and he's not even done swiping. Oh, yeah, it's, so it's on the wrong frame, kind of, for the animation? Yeah. It's too early. Basically, yeah. Oh, it got hectic in here, though. Wow. Yeah. A lot of... Gl glad we're not invisible anymore. Oh, boy. Right? Partially invisible. Excuse me. No. Well, you know. Oh, mm. uh, God. They've they've released the Beemons. Oh, no. no. The, the Super Meat Boymans. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> every time. Every time you have to shoot a pinky twice. <laughs> or a Beeman, I yeah, suppose. It's, Just, it's, it's very unsatisfying. All right, well... Switch hunt continued. We're, we're making our way. Like, <laughs> like if, if Doom weapon swapping were faster, that would very much feel like one of those situations where you would shoot it with a super shotgun and then pull out your pistol and shoot it once or twice to save ammo. Right. But it just, yeah. it's not, it, if only. It's, it's not yes. slick enough. Womp womp. So Maybe it, someday a Doom game will come out where you can switch weapons quick. Right. But not today. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't no quake. You can't just hit a key and instantly no. you're holding another weapon. And then weapon. it's there the next frame. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess technically someday a Doom game did come out. It's called Quake. Where <laughs> that... Where that happens? Yeah. Yeah. Except that doesn't really matter, because, oh god, everything is so tanky and quick. Yeah, that's true. And this looks 
important. It did look important, at least. Oh, jeez. Uh, more reactor barons. Yeah, they, they just like fuel cells. <laughs> right, seems legit. Better. Still not sure what that like alien paw print switch is supposed to be. Yeah, uh, none of them have hands shaped like that. Uh, imps? Maybe? Uh, maybe. Well, I mean, I'd have to get a closer look at it because it looked like. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I see it now. Or wait, wasn't there like a sigil we were seeing earlier? That was strange, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was like carved into a building. Yeah. It kinda, somewhere. I think it's one of the, the sigil, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Although that does make me <laughs> more more architecture talk. Let's go back to that. Been a while. Just thinking of like if if modern day corporations were to design like door buttons and stuff like that with just their logo on the button and how kind of oh. weird that would feel right like yeah if, like the uh the automatic door button for handicap at like a walmart but it's just a walmart button uh-huh oh jeez. <laughs> like it's it's it, video games and stuff it like kind of makes sense like oh it's the icon of the evil entity group thing but in real life it's like right but, but why would you do that <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Oh boy, this is, this demon's just walking around with no skin in the lava oh, pool. What are you God. doing? Uh, where they come from, the, the, the temperature's real high. This is just like a hot spring for them. Right. I guess. It's a comfortable bubble bath. Yeah. Just take a dip in the lava. Relax. John Strain, it's really hot chili that makes you take damage. <laughs> Grabs a spoonful well, and starts blowing on it. <laughs> right? That, oh no, it's the final oh, boss! No. Oh no! A tiny ah. cyber team! He's already <laughs> dead! <laughs> no, he's not tiny, he was just really far away and had 300 health. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I keep. Nope. It keeps looking like the ending and then it's not. Well, that See, worked. Cool. Uh, that, that went well. Yep, I'm, I'm just gonna gonna file that chili lava idea away for future <laughs> stuff. Recover health by eating the hot chili. All right. Just hit the use key on the edge of the line def and play an animation <laughs> of Doom Guy spooning some chili. That's the stuff blowing on it. <laughs> If you don't blow on it, you take damage instead. <laughs> right. There are BF BFG troopers up here. Rude. There was no explosion. I am oh. disappointed. But it's called self-destruct. <laughs> boss. <Yeah>. Entering <laughs> boss. <laughs> We're just gonna go. <laughs> now, hold on. Okay. Now, hold on. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look here. So... <laughs> If you were playing Quake for the first time and you got to that first boss and it said now entering boss, that would be a great punchline because you have to telefrag him. <laughs> now entering boss. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be the case here though, so <laughs> Right. Oh man, this this MIDI's going hard though. Yeah. Or that or if it did a a, a sonic 3D blast where you literally enter the boss. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Where's the boss, though? This is it's a just dramatic corridors. change in scenery. Yeah. Yeah. Great corridors. Uh-oh. There's uh, spitting... Spitting monsters somewhere. Danger. Gosh, this... This, 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 this like, seven midi is going so hard. <laughs> it's destroying me. Alright. Well. It's real hello, funky. Hello, boss. He's, he's around somewhere. Hmm. He's spitting monsters. Not sure where they're landing. Maybe up there. Uh. Just kind of everywhere. Oh, it's that bloody tile texture again. It's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you. Spawn cube. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, maybe it's in there, in the center of those green things. Yeah. It seems vaguely hmm. like the center of the map. Vaguely. Uh, hey! If you squint your oh, eyes, you can yeah. just... Alright, 
Well, maybe on my way back up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, maybe yeah. All right, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, what a jerk. Oh, God, I <laughs> didn't even notice we had over 200 armor. I was a little confused until I remembered why. <laughs> yeah, the red armor is the great. best armor, yes. Am I hitting it? Yeah, you can totally just auto-aim at if the he, boss. If, oh. oh, John Romero oh. was... Oh. They you didn't even it. do the explosions right. Wow. Wow. Way to face plant on the ending there. Hold on. The last level is called self-destruct. We get to an actual reactor, shoot it a bunch, and then it just kind of farts out. Great. Yeah. Good job. Oh, no. Strain, what happened? You've destroyed oh, well. every last denizen of doom, period. Okay, so this um, is the final doom one gonna, ever made. Got yeah, it. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to be hard to explain the next one then. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just take a take a line from Warhammer 30 or 40 30k war. What the heck? 40k lore. Uh, race called the orcs. They're just like spores. So even when you kill them, they just kind of like grow back eventually. <laughs> right. That's the demons. I think. Right. I think the text <laughs> file here is trying to tell us we've turned into John Carmack. But, uh, okay. Yep. End. End of strain. Is this a Beeman? Is this Beeman fan art? Beam. Uh. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Bursting through like a wall of flesh. Yeah, something. Yeah. Climbing out of the pile of corpses. It's doing something. Or right. standing it on it. I guess happy. this is like an above shot, and I'm noticing his actual posture. Yeah. Class two imp. <laughs> yep. And oh, oh I thought Hollow the. Uh, yeah, these guys are great. Probably my favorite strain enemy. Tiny? In invisible. In invisible. Mm. But we could see him. Well. <laughs> well, you yeah, know, it's hard to fix these things in dehacked. I'm not sure how dehacked, like, works with the end sequence here, because I know you can alter it, but I'm not sure what exactly you do to alter it, and I feel like it can break horribly sometimes. Uh, for sure. I think it broke here, <laughs> for instance. You can't oh, actually yeah. kill this one, and you're stuck. Right, because the polydrone... Oh, God, yes, yeah, so that goes back to confirming the weirdness of when it dies, because if you kill it, it goes into an attack frame for the pinky, so it, it's not yeah, technically but, dead, but it... it yeah, mm, I don't know. It's so weird. weird. I don't know, like, if the monster attacks factor into the credit sequence or not, but it seems like maybe they do? I yeah I, I don't know hmm. so um, yeah because it would cycle to the attack hacked. and then it would cycle back to because it's not dead in that f one frame where it's attacking and oh god this is weird <laughs> yep well that was the end of strain um, we did it uh, so yeah that's that we've done it uh, next up we've got another megawad requiem uh, another one in the vein of memento mori. Mm -hmm. More on that next time, I'm sure. Uh, till then, the end. Yeah, see you next time. Desk vibrations. Oh. Did that work? There it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joke uncancelled. Joke uncancelled. I found it. <laughs> oh, man, I wonder if that picked up in audacity. I'll get to listen afterwards well, and find out. Maybe. <laughs> Sweet.